All right, guys, Bruce sent over his very, very cool and unique Seiko SRPC95. This is a pretty cool looking orange dialed turtle that he purchased from Top Watch um, in the, out of the Philippines. And he's very, that guy um, does a really good job. Bruce has told me that he's had nothing but a positive experience with him. Um, so definitely check him out. I'll try to leave a link in the description. I think the best way to contact him is through Facebook. And then you message him or PM him as he'll post on Facebook when certain watches are available or you can, you know, request from him. But uh, anyway, back to the watch. You can see we have a shimmer orange dial versus the traditional orange dial like on a monster where it's more of a matte or a flat there's no gloss to it or anything with the SRPC95 here we have a nice shimmer or, or burst effect to it we have a nice solid orange with black markers for the chapter and then the bezel insert is a really dark blue with a nice you know, aluminum style orange, you know, kind of look to it for the uh, insert. And the blue is, is darker than what's on the, um, you know, the Pepsi style turtles. You can see the color difference there. So I think it's a good idea to go with a darker blue. I think in most cases, depending on your lighting, even like right now at this angle, you can see it looks like black and orange. So, but then as soon as you expose some light to it, you get the blue. Now, of course, it does come with a blue, a really nice blue silicone strap. So if you were to pair that up to it, you know, that'll help pull that blue out. So, and these straps are amazing on the turtles. But, you know, this one also has a really nice bracelet as well. You know, standard stuff that you uh, see with all the turtles. I'm not going to review the turtle if you guys, you guys pretty much know the turtle. Um, the main difference on this particular one would be that uh, magnifier. Um, I think guys call it a candy bar magnifier because it's kind of shaped like a candy bar. Get the minute hand out of the way there. But you can see its position is really well done. Um, the clarity of it is really nice. Uh, so, I mean, it is useful versus, um, again, the minute hand's in the way on this one, but I mean, it definitely. And you can see it magnifies it. I don't know what the magnification is on it, but it's got to be like one and a half times or more. So I think it's just enough. Um, hate it or love it, you know, if you don't like it, then um, you could always pop this crystal out and pop a sapphire in or something like that. Do something uh, double dome with a AR on it would really help that orange pop out really nice. Um, you know, some people might say you know that's crazy don't modify a limited edition Seiko or any watch but I mean really I know it might be a reach for some people but if you're looking to buy one of these don't do it as an investment um, I mean you can traditionally with the Seikos and you'll probably do okay but um, buy them and wear them guys you know because I get that question all the time too you know I'm looking for you know a, a monster or a whatever you know a turtle or whatever you know, should I look at doing a limited or special edition? Yeah, I say yes. I love limited edition or special edition things. Um, and even if it's going to be the one you wear, if you're going to buy one and you're going to wear it and maybe you're going to pay a premium, um, you know, three or two or 250 or 300 for a regular one, if you're going to double that for a special edition, but it's one you like and you really only want one, go for it. Treat yourself and just do it. So... I'm not sure what Bruce um, paid for. I can't find without messaging the top watch guy. Um, but if you look at what these are trending at on eBay, they're anywhere from five ninety to just under seven hundred ish on eBay. So pretty reasonable price right now. Um, it will not surprise me at all if we're we're talking possibly maybe even as soon as six months from now, and we're looking at, it is July 10th, 2018. Within six months, these are gonna be, 
I bet you eight, nine hundred dollars. That would not surprise me one bit. I'm not even sure how many of these are limited to, but the limited and special are different. You know, like this used to be a patty, so this says um, special edition on the case back there. And you know you can go get a patty turtle anytime. This one's got an SKX dial on it. That's a long story, but um, limited is different. When Seiko writes limited edition on the back, it really is, even though it's not numbered on here, unless someone can uh, decipher the the number on the bottom there. But you know, they, it didn't do like you know number twenty of five hundred or whatever. I I don't know how many they made. I'm assuming they made a decent amount, but very very cool looking turtle. Um, tell you what, I'll pop it on. And then Bruce's video is really good. I don't have another turtle to show up against, but he did point out like the the way the indices are done and the loom fill and everything like that. It is different than the turtles in the past. And so, I mean, I, I urge you to look, watch his video, obviously. If you're watching mine, I'm sure you've watched his, but his uh, macro shots are definitely better than mine attention to capturing that stuff is but very very nice looking turtle and you guys all know I'm a sucker for orange so I can't help but think too and I'm sure many others that are watching this because um, I'm more of an SKX fan than I am a turtle fan the turtles are great but um, that would be sweet to have this dial on a SKX or something but good luck finding a, a um, dial anyway so there it is on my seven and eighth inch wrist the turtles wear really nice and then you definitely have some other bracelet options as well with you know strap code and uncle uh, seiko i mean this one on uh, a beads of rice oh my that would be a, an amazing combo that would be really nice um i think i actually even have a beads of rice laying around somewhere i'm not gonna throw it on though but i mean you have the drilled lugs and everything so very, very cool watch. Um, we'll close with a loom shot and it's not a fair comparison against the uh, turtle there. Oh, uh, the SKX dialed turtle. But we'll, we'll show it with some loom, you know, with the monster and um, maybe I'll throw in the third gen monster. And we'll even throw in this guy, which that view is, that review is coming up. So we'll close out with a loom shot. So there you can see. And this is just off the studio lights. So and this is an SKX dial. So I mean that glows really good. It goes way back, you know, the SKX just being that good. There it is next to the monster. Indices, hands, everything, a little more uh, surface area there. Here's a third gen next to it. I'm just doing this because I know you guys are all loom junkies like me. But the Yeti in the background picked up some light. So, very, very cool stuff. And here's that new solar tube, which I'll do a review on that very soon because that thing is crazy cool. But a little teaser there for you. See you in the next vid.